Did you know that PyKX, the new Python native interface for KX, has just been open source for the first time? And in this video, we're going to take a look at how to quickly install it and get up and running in just a few minutes. So let's start in this Hello PyKX notebook. The first thing we need to do is install the PyKX package, and we can do that using pip. So I'm going to run that there. Next, we need to get the required license. So we can go to the kx.com website fill in our details here and we'll get a 12 month free trial. And after filling in these details and hitting this button, you'll receive an email with a link to download your license in the form of a kc.lick file. So go ahead and download that file to your machine. And then the final step is to set an environment variable pointing to the license file location so that PyKX can find it. And I'm gonna do that here from my notebook, adding my path to the file location. So you'll need to change this to be your own path. That completes the setup, so we can go ahead and import PyKX as KX. And if you do have any issues getting to this point, check out the dependencies required and more detailed instructions over on our documentation site here. So now that we have it installed, let's start by creating some PyKX objects from Python data types using KX to Q. So starting with a Python list, we can easily define it and also run some aggregations on this object. So in this example, running max to get the highest value back from the list. Similarly, we can define PyKX objects from other Python data types like NumPy and Pandas. We can also create PyKX objects using Q, like this PyKX vector and this table. And if you wanted to drop into freeform Q syntax, you can do so easily using the Q magic command, which will be a welcome feature for all our Q users out there. So to see more examples of how to interact with, use and convert PyKX objects, head to the documentation to grab lots of code snippets and examples here. And we also have a number of courses on the KX Academy centered around Python. So we've got our introduction to the Python interface and we also have two demos here which show real life use case examples using PyKX. So that's it for the quick start to PyKX. If you have any questions, head over to the KX community where somebody will be able to answer them.